Yo, Havoc Nation has arrived. Welcome to Pause and Rewind, because that's just what we do here. Listen, we back on the rent train, man. It's been a little bit. We didn't complete it. The Money Game series, which was phenomenal for me as an artist, as a rapper, as a filmographer, videographer, you know, the whole deal. That was just a whole series that I appreciated like crazy. Now we're jumping into another popular recommendation from you guys, which is Ren, the tale of Jenny and Screech. No idea what this is about. Like zero clue. But it's Ren. It's also 13 and a half minutes long. Therefore, I'm expecting storytelling. All right, so... Let's get into it. But before we do, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so y'all can stay up to date with me. And we're going to jump into Ren, the tale of Jenny and Screech. Havoc Nation, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Ooh. Nice. Layers. Y'all already know what I'm about. <laughs> <coughs> it was a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere in London City. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep okay. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you play? Mm. Well, on the very same night, in a different place There walked this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street his mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, a 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul Alright, alright, alright So, so far we have Jenny walking down the street A block, she just wanted to escape She's walked it a thousand times before And in another place we got a 14 year old named James I think he said they call him Screech You know, he's smoking with the homies He's doing whatever, but he's got evil in him, right? Devil's got a hold of his soul. All right, all right, cool. This Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was all right, but it was like there was something in the air. Mm. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bugging her and making her so scared. So Ooh, yo, trust your gut. If you feel like that, walking somewhere, you know, something don't feel quite right, there's just something in the air telling you to do something else. Trust that gut, man. Don't go against it. Better safe than sorry. Intervention telling her to beware. Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sound in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner. Their eyes, they meet. Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch. Give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone. Don't fucking look at me. I mean it, bitch. Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes mm. What the hell you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheep with the blade nice, with the nice. teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he mm. swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the Woo. statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Mmm. Scary, right? You know what I'm saying? I've been in these situations, first of all. <laughs> so, you know, on the receiving end or something like that, like I can't imagine, right? Just a, a woman walking alone down a alley or what have you. And get confronted by somebody that basically is controlling you, taking your life in their hands. Just just like that. Um, yeah. 
she just frees you become a statue um like she does in this in this story I, just fear sets in right now some people have different reactions but in this particular story it's a normal reaction uh to just kind of be 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 frozen like that all right let's see what happens <laughs> first of all again in in ren's videos man and his songs i just love the live vocals i love the live vocals it's very hard especially with other things around right these settings even when he he leaned against the door earlier in the video obviously it was very loud and you can hear him put his foot up on the door or whatever whatever so it's hard to do live vocals without catching so many other sounds in it granted you can edit them out when you need to but the fact that his vocals are live you know they overlap sometimes and and you know it's hard to kind of extract that sound so it's it's really nice and it's really bold that he's able to do that on top of the one takes i just appreciate it it's really dope it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at nanto city <laughs> Jenny lay still on the cold concrete She's found somewhere to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame I love when he goes there, man <clears throat> Okay all right, that was interesting. Now what? Hmm. Setting the tones, man. I love it. Listen to this. It's hard to beat that acoustic sound, man. It's so nice. Screech's tail. Oh, okay. Story. It starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny. Clocked out like Big Ben. Mm. Dear Screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick, really fucked up, man. I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick. Come on, man, I can't knock no more. Mm. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind, mm. does away. Mm. Hey, babe, are you in? Now, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that. A lot of people feel like that, man. Those are the scariest ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just don't care. You know what I'm saying? And exactly like I said before with Jenny, somebody just immediately decides that they hold your life in their hands. Just like that. Just like that. And they mean it. 
And they'll do it just to prove a point. Careless, reckless, disregard, you know, no value for life, that whole deal, man. People act like this on the daily. Six foot three, work in London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Of course. Oh, wow. The storytelling, man. What I tell you, the creativity, just to do that with the strings, just to emulate that sound. And obviously, there's a little camera shake and moment, and then you and then you tilt the camera a little bit, uh, just to give you that disorienting angle, right? Somebody you hit, and you know you, it changes your viewpoint. It's dope. What a great way to tell the story. So even if I were to listen to this or watch this on mute. I would know what's happening. All right, mate. <clears throat> Look at that. Very nice. Ah, oh, story it ends right to the star. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. Ooh. Ooh, the visual Screech and Jenny lying one street apart <sighs> just just a waste of life <laughs> sucks man this stuff happens every day enough it's uh, shaken by the boy that he claimed two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame exactly it's such a shame. That whole end right there, right? While maintaining this view of this camera, right? Maintaining this shot, him kneeling down to be in frame. But just keeping the shot of, you know, basically Screech's perspective or Screech's viewpoint or what it would have been had he not died. But just that that's just that overall artistry there to continue that shot and the song all the way to its end while keeping that same uh, point of view, that that perspective, that POV. Very, very nicely done. Damn. And then you just get this sense of a body lying on a cold ground i know it's cold i know it's cold <laughs> you know what i'm saying and just just left there and uh yeah you thought you you know was gonna do something to somebody and that somebody did something to you and now look now look you didn't waste somebody else's life for no reason yours is gone for no reason and there are no winners All right. Well, damn. Uh oh, who's this? Violet's tail. Violet, you're not in the title. Who is this? Man, this dude on this guitar, boy. Wildest dreams do that. <laughs> I could never do. Is that the tone?
London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains, she saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Okay. Okay, tell me, come on, let's go. I am so intrigued. Silent girl grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Come on, <laughs> bro, I cannot I just love the execution I love the execution Oh my gosh Just the, just the, the wherewithal to do that whole intro With the guitar Be in that room to really get that sound nicely and then to transition into this hallway natural sound natural right audio like Les Mis style and you get that that echo right that 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 cathedral sounding type of vocal that you clearly want for this part it's just it's just smart and it's just well done man it's it's it's, it's, hard, it's hard for me to ignore that it's just dope Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard Every night he took a tie but never left the room I'll spare you of the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took her tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark she never stood a chance Ooh, beautiful. The devil comes to dance Damn. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's tiring He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut <laughs> You fucking slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like Whoa. hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but no. Woo, these internals, these are internal rhyme schemes right here. Ugh. At fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke Violet, Very why nice. you always so silent, Violet? Why you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I wanna do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent Well, say Ooh. something, Violet! Silence <laughs> Fucking say something, Violet! Silence Wait Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet, 
She was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty Two zero zero five A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive mm. A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Are you serious? Are you serious? What you talking about, man? Hey, yo. <laughs> what are you saying, yo? Oh, my God. So. <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, what the hell? I guess the twins were were like separated, right? And and went on to live whatever lives they had with whatever families they had and eventually, you know, as life would have it, they they crossed paths again. But in the m m terrible of way, I, that is crazy. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I mean, I think that's what I'm getting from it. Listen, the storytelling is just, it's just top notch. I love it because every time I'm watching a Ren video or listening to Ren, it's a beginning, it's a middle, and it's an end. And it all ties back. It all connects. It's all story told. This is dope, man. This right here is, is I, I've always said, you know, for me, you when you're doing storytelling, and you really want to be considered you got to paint with your music to be considered an artist you got to paint bro you got to paint with your music to be considered an artist therefore i could have listened to this song without a visual and still saw the same thing come on that's how you do it that's storytelling at its finest man and there are good storytellers. There's high storytellers and there's trash storytellers. Ren is an exceptional storyteller, man. You know, he's giving you location. He's giving you time. He's giving you characters. He's literally giving you backstory. He's giving you arc and build. He's giving you a story. He's giving you a protagonist. He's giving you an antagonist. He's, he's doing all of the things that you would do if you were to write a book or a screenplay. And he's putting it into, you know, little songs or music videos and you know three different stories extended but still just four minute songs each right probably so yeah man that's that's just dope this was crazy damn you screech but like damn so i guess jenny was i, I don't know if he said it or not or if i missed it but jenny would have been 14 too or at that same time right them coming up man 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 you got one that did all right other went the path of just wrong and evil and you got one woman that was just fighting to stay alive abusive relationship abusive uh whoever um you know talking with his hands basically talking with his hands and then he said you know, here she is staying in character, silent. That's cr that's a heavy line right there. That's a heavy line. That line hit me the heaviest out of this whole song. That's crazy. Man. Ugh. Man, that's a whole nother topic. I, I can go into that like crazy. You know what I'm saying? If, I could go into that like crazy. Uh, that's definitely something to talk about. But he touched on a lot of those elements here, you know, for women and 
men, arguably, you could argue that, but for women, you know, just the vulnerability, you know, and, and, and being overpowered by a guy, you know, not being able to just walk home at night um, and not being able to just be with your partner in the house without getting bashed in the throat in the neck and whatever the hell else, man. See it all the time, right? That's one of the most common police calls. You know, he's talking about London, but that's the same thing in the States, man. That's the most common call that police respond to is, is, is domestic violence or domestic disturbance. You know, and those a lot of times, even in those situations in response, turn violent or deadly. Right. And so you touch on a lot of those elements that your know, women predominantly have to go through. But you can also argue that Screech himself was a victim. Right. Who knows what the hell happened to him? Detail wise, you know, could have been in certain homes. He could have been in an abusive home. He could have been in a foster home, which. That system isn't all that great, <laughs> right? He could have dealt with a lot of this, been exposed to this and been exposed to that. And, you know, you're just a product of your environment at that point. And the beings around you, that that's where you're absorbing your information, especially at a young age, you know, um, right? So it's easy to, easy, easy to be impressionable. It's easy to be manipulated or misled even or misguided, whatever, um, and once you go down to the wrong, wrong path, sometimes you get stuck there, right? There's nobody around you that can help pull you out of it. So you can argue that that Screech is a victim in all of this as well, even though he is kind of the evil villain. I think he even used the word villain. He's the villain of the story. Um, but yeah, man, just tragic all the way around. I love these storytelling type videos and songs and stuff like that. Uh, this is what a lot of artists are missing for me because I love this element of an artist, the, the storytelling element. Um, a lot of my favorite people are storytellers. Uh, so this one was uh, real dope. Hey, I appreciate the recommendation. Y'all push this one real hard. The tale of Jenny and Screech. What a, what a crazy like story. I, I want to go back and listen to this again and and see if i can catch even more of maybe what i missed on on a first listen but either way it doesn't change or take away anything it was dope uh nonetheless uh again i appreciate y'all please throw out some more recommendations i actually don't know what's next for ren so is there another like music video or something that i should be checking out of his um let me know and i will definitely check it out again i appreciate y'all have ignition until next time Bees.